Hey everyone, welcome to the last video on cylindrical shells. And in this one we just want to go through a quick example and uh, also talk a little bit about um, why you might want to use shells over, say, discs or washers uh, in certain scenarios. So, uh, let's just look at this first one. I'm not going to work this one all the way out, but I do want to uh, talk about the idea of looking at your rectangle first. So, uh, let R be a region bounded by Y is X times sine X. Um, y is 0 on the interval 0 to pi, so that's the shaded region there. Uh, find the volume when R is rotated around the Y axis. So, uh, if we're rotating around the Y axis right here, then uh, you could say, well, if I just really want to use washers, I could draw a horizontal rectangle, uh, solve for X, subtract the axes, and then uh, just go from there with, with the formula. Uh, the problem is with this equation, y is x sine x, uh, you're not really going to be able to rearrange this in terms of x equals something in terms of y, uh, like you could with the parabola example. So uh, some equations just aren't going to be easily rearranged. Uh, so this one in particular, even though it's not a complicated uh, expression, it's just you have one x inside the sine and one outside and it's it's not really doable to just write x equals something really nice in terms of y uh, for this guy so what you can do though is just say well since I'm gonna keep my y equals and I, I don't want to rearrange it I'm gonna have to use a vertical rectangle for this one uh, so we'll just use a vertical rectangle and that means rotating around this parallel axis I'm gonna have to use a shell uh, so that's kind of the idea here is that um, even if you wanted to use a washer it's not going to be that easy to uh, rearrange this equation uh, for x equals in terms of, of y uh, so you're way better off using a shell approach for this one um, the r in this case right so uh, don't forget you're doing uh, kind of this integral of, of 2 pi r times h and then in this case small change in x so dx uh, in this case that r would be the x for this one all right so uh, that would be my r value and the height that h would just be uh, since it's always from the x-axis uh, up to this function just always that x sine x uh, for this guy so our height is always just going to be x sine x and then you can just plug those in with the bound 0 to pi uh, so this says we are doing x 0 to pi um, compute that out so I'll let you guys uh, compute that out see what you get uh, you can post it in the forum to kind of compare answers but main thing I wanted to look at this is just why you would want to use shells rather than uh, washers and uh, just so show you a scenario where it's definitely uh, way easier to use a shell method rather than a washer method. Um, if we go ahead and take a look at question two, it's the same same thing. So this is uh, find the volume when R is rotated around the vertical line. X is four. Uh, so this is still going zero to pi. So this is um, pi right there. Uh, this is still y equals x sine x. Uh, so it's the same functions, just a different axis of rotation. So we're rotating around this line. X is 4. Uh, so here's my vertical axis of rotation right there. Um, hell, what a beautiful axis right there. All right. Uh, so that's where we're rotating around. And again, um, for the reasons we just went through, I want to use vertical rectangles. I don't want to have to rearrange anything for this one. So, vertical rectangles. And that means I am going to be using shells for this guy. So, vertical rectangle parallel to this axis of rotation. So, I am going to use shells for this guy. And the thing you want to look at uh, in this case is what is your R right so R is going to be this distance from my rectangle to my axis of rotation so this is R 
And what is my H? So that height of that rectangle. And we do have a, a DX in this case. Uh, the axis not being on the X or Y axis, um, so the axis of rotation not being one of those, it doesn't really change anything with the H. The H is still going to be the same. All it changes is this R. Uh, so the R is what's going to be affected on this one. Uh, so we're still going to have integrals 0 to pi. 2 pi r times h times dx. And the h is going to be the same from 0 up to that function is always going to be um, this y is x side x. So we'll go ahead and uh, put that in. So we'll have 0 pi, 2 pi, and the r. I'll leave a little space for that. And then we'll put in our h, which is x sine x, and dx. All right. Uh, so that is my h. And if you want to write in here, you can. Uh, so what is the r? That's one thing that you can think about. So I'm going to go ahead and change colors here for a second and take a look at that. So one thing you can think about is, all right, so um, the distance from my y-axis to my rectangle. That is distance we always know. Uh, so that distance is always x, right? So going from the y-axis horizontally over to a specific place, uh, that's exactly how you plot points, right? You count out, all right, I'm moving to the right two or three or to the left two or three. It's, it's that distance x that you're moving. Uh, so from the y-axis to that value, uh, wherever the rectangle happens to be, it's always just going to be a distance x. Uh, the distance from my axis of rotation to the y-axis is always going to be some number, right, that's fixed. So in this case, that line where we have 4, uh, so this distance is always 4. And then our R is just going to be the difference between those two, right? So this whole length 4 minus this value of X, that'll be this leftover piece R there. So this R is going to be 4 minus X. That's the value for R. Uh, so I can go ahead and put that in right here. So that R is 4 minus X. And then I have something I can go ahead and compute out. So we'll go ahead and compute that out. Well, let's see if we get... And this one, we'll go ahead and put in our integral. So we got integral 0 to pi of 2 pi times 4 minus x, and then times my function x sine x, and then my dx. Uh, so I get 42.077 uh, for this one. So 42.077. Uh, so that's it for that guy. Again, the, the main thing that changes there is the R. The H is still going to be the same for that guy. Um, one last thing before um, we go. Maybe two two things. Uh, if you also think about... I'm going to go ahead and uh, erase a little bit of this uh, right in here. Um, I'll go ahead and erase this guy. So if you go and think about what would happen if my R were, say, over here on the left, uh, so maybe at negative 1 uh, for my axis of rotation. So maybe the R is not negative, but, um, but my axis of rotation is, is over here. Let's say it's right here at, at negative 1. So let's say we're rotating instead of the y-axis around the line x equals negative 1. Right. Uh, well then what would the setup be? Specifically, what would the r be? The h is going to be the same. So you know, you're still doing vertical rectangles. The height of that is still the x sine x. Uh, but what would the r be in this case? So if we we're rotating around that, it's a beautiful cylinder right there. Look at what. Uh, so if we're rotating around this line, what is the value of r going to be? Uh, so again, just drawing it out. Uh, from my axis of rotation 
or sorry, from my y axis to the rectangle. That would just be a value of x. Uh, and again, a number from that y axis to wherever my axis of rotation is, that should just be a number. So this whole length here is just going to be a value of 1. All right. And then I'm going to get uh, this distance I travel here, which is the x, this distance over here, which is the 1, and I'm just going to combine those two to get this whole distance r um, that travels right there. So the r is always, in this case, uh, x plus 1. And if you want to think of it like I have an x on the right and a negative 1 on the left, and I'm subtracting x minus negative 1, then, you know, it's the same thing, but uh, sometimes just drawing it out can also help you visualize what is that r going to be for this case. So in this case, the r is uh, x plus 1. Um, so not using that as rotation, uh, using x as negative 1 as the rotation. Uh, so that's kind of the idea there uh, that you can use as, as you're going through that. Uh, one other thing that I'll point out real quick, and... This is in the homework, um, so go ahead and go through so you got some practice with shells, uh, some mixed practice, right, where um, maybe some of these are going to be nice with shells, maybe some will be a disc, maybe some will be a washer, so uh, kind of looking at rather than just, oh, I'm practicing shell method right now, um, what method would you choose and uh, going about it that way. Uh, for those exercises and then you got the, the answers there at the bottom but um, go ahead and think about you know those especially um, what method are you going to try to use starting with you know what rectangle would I draw first that's the best place to start uh, so go ahead and try those and if you got any questions on uh, any of these uh, go ahead and let me know in the forum